All right, Tuesday is here. Hope you guys all had an amazing weekend. Um, it is getting chilly out there. But before we get on with uh, December plans, because today is December 1st, happy birthday, Rhonda. Hope you enjoy your day. Hopefully we'll get to see you. I know that uh, your work is really busy and keeping you out, but uh, hopefully we'll see you very soon. I saw you're signing up for the Secret Santa. And with that, guys, today's the last day to sign up for that Secret Santa. We took the list down um, because that was completely filled. I sent out invitations to everybody who put their name on that list to sign up using Elfster. It's an online kind of Secret Santa drawing. And what will happen is once everybody accepts that invitation through Elfster, I can draw the names. Okay, so let's try to get that done this week. The sooner the better. Got a few names on there that I sent out that invitation, so look for it. If you put your name on that sheet, you're gonna get an invitation from Elfster, so make sure you accept that and then get going and then we'll draw all the names and you'll get paired as soon as possible. And then uh, December 20th or 22nd, we just put it up today, I think it's the 20th. Um, that Sunday before Christmas, we'll be doing our Christmas party, uh, pajama party with cookie exchange and then we'll be doing that Secret Santa a gift exchange. Um, so a couple things, make sure we're reserving our classes. A couple people asked about this, but uh, basically the gist of it is don't just show up and then sign in. Make sure you're reserving your spot ahead of time. We do have to make sure based on city restrictions and all that, that we are following those rules so that you have to register ahead of time. So use your phone apps. It's 30 minutes cut off. If you're having issues, give us a call or text us and we'll sign you into class. Please just don't show up. That way if like class is full, we can tell you like, hey, sorry, class is full. We can plan for that a little bit better other than, hey, there's only three people signed in and then 20 people show up and then all sign in. It's harder to manage that. But if we know everybody who's coming ahead of time, we can manage that a little bit better and set up the gym as we need to. Um, and then if like somebody texts us 15 minutes or 20 minutes within that time period where it cut off and you can't no longer sign in on your phone, if you text us, we can let you know like, hey, it's looking like you'll be able to come. Okay. That way we don't have to tell anybody when they show up, sorry, class is full, okay? It is getting colder, so that means that people are gonna be looking for things to do. The gym tends to be what we do in the winter, so make sure that uh, you're reserving your time. All right, the Giving Tree, if you took a tag off the Giving Tree, that's due no later than that Sunday the 13th. Um, so please, if you're gonna return it on that Saturday, make sure it's Saturday the 12th, because we are closed on the 13th. You can leave it here on Sunday if you have that after access, just put it by the tree. They're going to be picking up on the 14th. Today's workout's a two-parter. I told you we're gonna be doing strength two times this week. So today is that other day. It's back-to-back -back strength days into a workout. But we'll be doing a push press at strength of reps of eight, two, six, two, and four, two. The goal here is to go probably a little bit lighter on those eights, those sixes, and the fours with picking up the weight on the twos. Um, so you're gonna, so hopefully, the goal is when you're working on those higher reps, the weight doesn't feel as heavy or vice versa on the twos. It's just a really good way to kind of trick the mind into feeling the weight. So we'll be working out of the rig on that one. You'll be kind of adjusting the weights and we'll try to go every two to three minutes on that. And then we'll be moving directly into part two, which is a kind of an EMOM style. Every two minutes for five sets, you'll be doing whatever you're best at. Three to five reps is the, is the goal. You'll be doing strict pull-ups, toes to bar, and then bar muscle ups. You'll have three separate scores in sugar wad to enter. You're gonna enter your total pull-ups, your total toes to bar, and your total bar muscle-ups at the end. Um, so basically these are, since it's a minute, you have a minute to work on each one of these, or I'm sorry, on the whole thing. Um, so if you're doing, if you're, let's just get into our strict pull-ups, maybe you're gonna do three, maybe you're just getting toes to bar, so you'll do three. You could do five on the pull-ups if you're really good at them, but maybe three on the toes to bar, you're just getting them. And then as far as the bar muscle-ups go, you know, we say three to five, but if you're just getting them, you're just working at them, even if you did one every, every time, that is fine as well. So you have two minutes to get that com work completely done. Your goal is about 30 to 45 seconds and then rest the period of time and then go at it again. Fitness and performance is as written, masters and teens. We, you can sub the bar muscle ups for chest to bar. You can also do jumping, that is fine. Jumping chest, jumping um, bar muscle ups is what we're gonna recommend. And then wellness, we want to see pull-ups with a negative. So obviously if we don't have our pull-ups, you'll be working on the negative portion. So jumping up and then lowering and control it down. Hanging knee raises are okay. And then for the bar muscle-ups, and the, we can sub either the bar muscle-ups or the chest, I'm sorry, the pull-ups for ring rows are fine as well. So at least we're gonna be working with the negative on the pull-up. And then for the bar muscle-ups, we can do ring rows or vice versa. It'll be ring rows on the pull-up, but for the bar muscle-up, we can do the negative, okay? Hope that makes sense. 
There's a lot of moving parts here today. We'll have fun with it, and then we'll see you guys back here tomorrow for our Wednesday workout.